All right, here we go, guys, with another one of these flipped review things, trying to be efficient with our time so I can individually meet with people. This is our Chapter 6 Mini Mastery. Some of you did not turn this in, so I'm actually probably going to be using this time to call people up and ask you where these Mini Masteries went to. Um, but assuming that you have yours, um, even if you haven't turned it in, you could check it on your own. Just make sure you're using a highlighter or a pen, not a pencil, to do your work. If you need to go back and finish any of these problems, that is for you to take care of on your time. Um, and remember, I, I make mistakes. So this is, I made this answer key. I didn't actually go off any, like, created answer key because I made this test. So if you find out that you think I made a mistake, come and tell me and you'll get a sucker. Right, so in mat A, after we cancel out everything that is cancelable, we have an X on both sides. So remember, we can take things off of both sides. We can do the same thing to both. So if we do that, we end up with 2 is less than 3. So mat A would be less than mat B. In the second part of problem 1 here, we actually, I believe, end up with 3X plus 2 on both sides. Um, be careful, this negative will cancel out with that positive, so it's a little tricky to see that those canceled out, but they do, right? I connected them kind of on the outside of the mat. So then 1, 2, 3x's plus 2 extra, 1, 2, 3x's plus 2 extra. I believe mat A is equal to mat B. In the third one here, it looks like we get down to 2x with a positive 1 left over and 2x with a positive 2 left over. So since we have 2x on both sides, just like um, the, the first one that we did up here, we can get rid of that from both, and we could effectively just compare 1 to 2, and 1 is less than 2. Matt, the fourth one here is the only one that comes out to be greater than, because we end up with just negative 2x on the right mat, mat B, and on mat A, we end up with negative 2x and 4 extra positives, so again, we could do whatever we want to both sides, which really what we would do here is add positive 2x. And when you add positive 2x, it's going to cancel out the negative 2x. And what that's going to get us down to is just positive 4 on the left side, 0 on the right side. And 4 is, of course, larger than 0. All right, moving on to graphing inequalities. So for x is greater than 3, it is not allowed to be equal to. So we just shade greater than. Make sure that dot is not filled in, but make sure it's obvious that there is a circle around that and it's not filled in. x is less than or equal to 5. So x being less than or equal to 5, we're going to shade in for the or equal to. And we're going to shade to the left for the less than. x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So we are, again, allowed to be equal to, but now we are greater than. So again, the only number that we really care to mark on the number lines right now are those critical numbers that we're talking about. Flipping to the back, I made a mistake here because, hey, I'm human. So when we get to 3, this might be where you need to actually pay attention to what's going on here. If we got out algebra mats and started messing around with things, the only way that we could get rid of these negative 2x's would be to bring in positive 2x's, like what we talked about on the front of the paper. So if I bring in positive 2x, that would cancel out on the right side and just add with the left side. So now I would have 5x. So now essentially all of my x's have moved to the left side of the mat. So how do I get rid of a negative 3? Because remember, that's not minus 3. That's a negative 3. I could add 3. And if I add 3 on one side, I got to do it to the other side. So that positive 3 would cancel out the negative 3. But over on the right side, they would just add together to become 5. If 5x is less than 5, I could divide both sides by 5 and see that x must be less than 1. If I pick any number less than 1, 1 is not included, but if I pick any number less than 1 and plug it into the original inequality, it should come out to be true. It will come out to be true, assuming that we've done our math correctly. And our reminder about PEMDAS, right? Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, happen at the same time, left to right. Addition, subtraction, happen at the same time, left to right. So the first thing we do in A is 4 times 2 to get 8. We then can add the 6 that is also inside the parentheses. Guys, this multiplication happens first because it's in the parentheses. This is still that parentheses step. Both of these first steps. Now we're actually moving on to the multiplication step, and we get negative 42. In B, 
We start with the parentheses step by adding 3 plus 4, right? That's the parentheses. Now we move on to exponents because there are exponents. And remember, 7 squared means 7 times 7. So 7 times 7 is 49. That's how we get that. And now we can move on to addition because there's no multiplication or division to be done. In part C, this one gets real tricky. This parentheses can't be done, right? There's nothing to actually do with that. However, the division can be done. So this division actually needs to happen first. And if you want, you could go ahead and put some parentheses into the problem to remind yourself that's going to happen first. 8 divided by negative 4, that's negative 2, right? Positive divided by negative gives you a negative. 8 divided by 4 gives you 2. I'm going to pull my hands out of there to let you see things. This minus 12. We, we've talked multiple times. We don't like subtraction. It makes things complicated. Make it addition of the negative. So now I have to add or subtract, but really all we, we have just addition now, left to right. So 9 plus negative 2 plus negative 12. However, it'll come out the same since I changed all this to addition. If I did 9 plus negative 2, this would be 7 plus negative 12 would give us negative 5. So I teamed up my bad guys first, since we made it just addition. I teamed up my bad guys first and did 9 plus negative 14. But if you didn't make everything addition, you really got to go left to right. Let's look at another where left to right might matter, but I made everything negatives. So 5 squared, reminder, that's 5 times 5. That means 25 times negative 3. We're going to carry that down. Minus 4 times 6. I went ahead and did that at the same time as the exponents because it's it's separated. It's in two different parts of the question. There's something between them. This is not going to complicate anything by me doing it right now. You could wait. You could do it on its own step if you wanted. And then we got a plus 7. Just going to bring that down. So now my minus 24, we're going to rewrite as negative 24. The multiplication that still needs done over here comes out to be negative 75. So now I've got negative 75, negative 24, and a positive 7. I think my negatives are going to win here. So my negatives team up to make negative 99 plus 7, and we get negative 92. Guys, that is the end of that mini mastery. Reminder, all of those questions came from either what we did together in math class or what was on your homework. Every single one of these questions was either from math class or from homework. So if you're still struggling with these, it probably means that you need to put more effort into your homework so that you're ready for the next time we are asked to do these things uh, from memory, right? Because you weren't allowed to use your homeworks. You weren't allowed to use your notes. You just had to do this stuff from memory. So if you're struggling with this, you need to start caring about your homework a little bit more. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Have a great day.